servicing the Jacobson Gang Roller on the Roller Tamer. Two methods can be used for securing the Jacobson Gang Rollers in the Tamer. With the cone nuts removed from each end, the standard two inch tapered inserts, part number RT102, which are included in the base kit part number RT500, will work with no problem. Simply remove the cone nuts and then capture the roller. If you leave the cone nuts in place on each end, you'll need a special two and one half inch tapered insert, which is part number RT146. Contact Turf Pride or the nearest Turf Pride dealer. Removing the cone nuts may require some special attention if they are seized and rusted in place. Using a longer bolt, you can unscrew one end. If necessary, you can lock the other end. Put a bolt through one of these holes on the end bracket, then rest the longer bolt against it to prevent turning as you unscrew the other end. Once the cone nuts are removed, put the shaft with the flat spot on the left side. Sometimes the weld bead on the end cap will not sit flush inside the tapered insert, so grinding off some of the weld may be necessary to ensure a tight fit. Now make note of how many threads are exposed on each end of the shaft. On this roller, approximately three threads are exposed. Remove the shaft and store it on top of the toolbox. A groove has been cut to hold it in place. Remove seals from each end of the roller and the bearing cones will come out as well. In some cases, when taking out the bearing cup, you may notice a seal inside the cup. You will need to push this seal back or a little deeper in order for the collet to expand fully. A punch and hammer works well to tap the seal a little bit deeper and that will allow the collet to fully expand. Now install the puller bridge, install the jacking screw, draw the jacking nut up to it, drop in the standoff, you can use a 15 millimeter wrench resting against the frame which will secure the jacking screw. Tighten the jacking nut and pull the bearing out. Do the same to the other end of the roller. Now install new seals and bearing cups. There are two options to accomplish this. Use the cup driver and handle installation tool and tap them in with a hammer or use the press tool, part number RT181. You can use the shaft that came out of this roller or an old shaft that has a 3 8 inch fine thread hole in the end. Then you can use adapter RT155, which will couple the jacking screw to the roller and use the same cup from the installation tool without the handle. There's also a three quarter inch fine thread adapter available from Turf Pry to use in certain situations with a different style of shaft, allowing you to also couple the jacking screw to the roller. Now proceed with pressing the bearings into place. Remember to pack the cone and cavity with bearing grease. Then install the seals using the installation tool. Now remember, we counted the number of threads that were exposed when we started. So secure the shaft and thread the cones back in until three threads are exposed on each end. Lock the cone nuts in place with the set screws and the job is complete. The special roller tamer tools used in this procedure are available from Turf Pride seal and bearing kits for all makes and models of rollers as well as reel units are also available from turf pride <laughs>